What's going on YouTube? I'm Apoc, and today I'm back with my second Lens Studio tutorial. I know the first one I wanted to go more in depth, go through the whole process. Um, and I won't be doing that on this one. It's also just really simple. You don't really need to go through the whole process. But yeah, this is going to be a way shorter video, hopefully. And we're going to make a full screen lens today. Uh, this is the most common lens I see asked about how to make the most common people ask me. So we're going to make it today. Here's what I'm going to show you how to make. Basically, it's like a little HUD thing. There's some, I don't know, achievements or something at the bottom left, a health thing, and then a bar at the top, which is supposed to be like, I don't know, XP bar or something. I don't know. It's just a test. So I'm actually going to go in Photoshop and show you this. Um, my favorite way to design them, first off, I'll say you have to be under 2048 by 2048 in your dimensions. So each dimension has to be less than 2048 um, to import it into Lens Studio. So I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus's dimensions. If you go in here and do a, a new, there's an iPhone 6 Plus default. It's actually too big for Lens Studio, so I don't suggest doing that. Um, my favorite one to use, like I said, is the iPhone 7 Plus. And the sizing for that is right here in pixels. It's 1080 by 1920. The height is 1920, the width is 1080. So that's what I'm using here, made in Photoshop. You want to save it as a PNG, most likely. And I like to add a little background in just to sort of get the feel for how it looks on colors and not just a white background, you know, just a suggestion. Anyway, so yeah, you save this as a PNG. We're going to go in here and I'm going to make a new project. Discard this one. So over in my other window here, I have this PNG for it. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into there. Now we're done with that. So we have it in here as a texture. Now to add it to the camera, this is all you have to do. Up here in your objects panel, click add new, billboard. It should default you to the sprite inside of this. If not, just open those and then go in here. Change your texture to the texture you just imported, which for me is called HUD Tut test. To import that, now it's on there. By default, it's going to be the setting that I usually use, but there's two settings that are important here, technically three, but the middle one I'll explain. So this first setting is called fit. When you hover over it, you can see the names. Fit makes it fit on the screen um, in its uh, correct aspect ratio, which is good for most cases. For this, I would use that probably. Um, but if you had one that's, it has to be on the edges of the screen, um, so if you had like a frame around the screen, it had to be on the edges. You wouldn't want to use aspect ratio because then the top and bottom might not be on the edges or this left and right might not be on the edges. So if you wanted to make it go to the edges, you'd want to use stretch most likely because stretch makes it fill up the whole screen. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, I just explained a really good example of when to use stretch. The middle one is called fill. Um, so it essentially just fills up the screen and anything that's over the outside of the screen is just cut off. Uh, it's really not a good idea to use that one in most cases. So I recommend only using these two because this one in the middle is really hard to predict. Unless you have like three phones of all different sizes, you're not going to be able to predict it very well. Um, and I will say that this camera over here, I believe is the same size or the same aspect ratio as an iPhone 7 Plus, like I showed you in Photoshop, um, which is sort of the same aspect ratio for a lot of phones anyway. Uh, but some other things to take note of, the HUD here, or the HUD UI, I mean, uh, Snapchat UI is not um, the same on smaller phones. It gets pushed up a little bit on smaller phones. Uh, there's no way to test smaller phones in this app, unfortunately. I did suggest that today, though, right before I made this tutorial. Uh, so yeah, this is something to note that this gets moved up. So you don't want to you don't want to put a button here. I've seen a few people do that, and it does cause problems. So something to be aware of. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see any other tutorials, hit me up in the comments. Find me on the subreddit. I'm a moderator of Snap Lenses. Um, find me on Zendesk forums. Check out my lenses, 
any way you can find me. Let me know what you want to see, what you want to learn. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.